On Earth, we have a vast array of diverse species, but due to the expanding human presence and environmental degradation, many animals are becoming increasingly rare and even face the risk of extinction. Today, we present to you the top 10 most endangered animals globally, providing a deeper understanding of the current status of these species. The white rhinoceros is the rarest of all the animals in the top 10 most endangered species globally, with only one individual remaining worldwide. It is the only herbivorous rhinoceros species, predominantly feeding on short grass, and is the largest living rhinoceros, earning the title of King of Rhinos. The white rhinoceros was found in Chad, Sudan, Zaire, Uganda, and other parts of Africa. Its distribution has been fragmented into two separate areas, approximately 3,000 kilometers apart, resulting in the distinction between the northern and southern white rhinoceros. The white rhinoceros primarily inhabits tropical and subtropical grasslands. Due to illegal hunting, the population of white rhinoceros has drastically declined. Currently, the only remaining wild white rhinoceros is protected by 40 armed rangers day and night in a natural reserve in Kenya. The extinction of wild white rhinoceros is imminent. Ranking second on the list of the top 10 most endangered animals globally is the rhinoceros, specifically the Sumatran rhino. This endangered species is also known as the two-horned rhino. The Sumatran rhino is the only remaining species of two-horned rhinoceros in Asia. On average, they weigh only 700 kilograms, with a typical weight range of 500-850 kilograms. The largest individuals can reach up to 1,100 kilograms. In terms of size, they are the smallest living rhinoceros species, with an average weight not much larger than that of a domestic bull. It is also the most primitive surviving rhinoceros species, as it has retained many ancestral characteristics. According to data, this species has reached a critically endangered status, with a global population of only around 200 individuals remaining. Malaysia officially declared the local wild Sumatran rhino extinct in 2015. Protecting the rhinoceros is a race against time. Providing a safe home for them is their only hope for survival. Currently, they are sporadically distributed in the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra. Unconfirmed reports suggest their presence in various locations, with rumors of surviving populations in Myanmar. However, the country's political instability has hindered further investigation, and it is now considered highly unlikely that a population exists there. The red wolf is a canine in North America, primarily found in the southeastern United States. It feeds mainly on animals such as grouse, raccoons, rabbits, rodents, carrion, and occasionally livestock. Due to their low population numbers, red wolves often struggle to find mates of their own kind and have been known to hybridize with gray wolves from the North American Great Plains, resulting in a decline in purebred red wolves. An introduced population exists in the northeastern part of the state of Carolina, with a distribution area of 6,000 square meters. They inhabit pine forests, wetlands, swamps, and agricultural fields with cover. Historically, red wolves had a wide distribution in the southeastern United States. However, due to habitat loss, excessive human hunting, and hybridization with coyotes, the population of purebred red wolves declined continuously, leading to their extinction in the wild in 1980. Several years later, through captive breeding and reintroduction programs, red wolves were reintroduced and protected. Currently, the population of red wolves within the protected areas has recovered to around 100 to 130 individuals. However, hybridization with coyotes remains the primary threat. Additionally, gunshot injuries, vehicle collisions, and accidental hunting also pose significant threats to red wolves. Consequently, this species is considered critically endangered internationally. The white-headed langur gets its name from its diet primarily consisting of leaves. It is mainly found in a small triangular area formed by the Left River, Ming River, and 10,000 Mountains in Guangxi, China. The white-headed langur is similar in morphology and body size to the black langur with slender limbs and a tail longer than its body length. 
Its fur is mostly black, but what sets it apart from the black langur is the prominent tuft of upright white hair on its head. Due to the white-headed langur's limited range and relatively fixed habitat, its survival space is restricted. It is one of the 25 most endangered primate species globally, with a population of around 300 individuals remaining in the wild. It is also the only wild animal within China's borders listed among the top 10 most endangered animals globally. Through the efforts of several generations, the status of the giant panda has greatly improved, and we hope that the white-headed langur can follow suit. The California condor has a long and legendary history in North America. Fossil records indicate that this bird has existed for millions of years and once ranged across much of the continent. However, by the time Europeans arrived in North America, the California condor was restricted to the western United States. For thousands of years, the California condor held significant cultural and mythological importance in many Native American tribes. They were seen as symbols of power and freedom and frequently appeared in art and stories. Unfortunately, with the arrival of Europeans in the late 18th century, the California condor faced trouble. As settlers moved westward, they destroyed much of the birds' habitat and took pleasure in hunting them. Additionally, ranchers frequently killed condors, viewing them as a threat to livestock. By the early 20th century, the California condor was in dire straits, with only 27 individuals remaining in the wild by 1982, teetering on the brink of extinction. One of the earliest efforts to save the California condor was a captive breeding program. In 1983, the San Diego Zoo captured the last 22 wild condors and began breeding them in captivity. Over the years, the program has helped increase the condor population and continues to this day. In addition to captive breeding, conservationists have focused on protecting condor habitat and reducing human-caused mortality. Today, there are around 330 California condors in the wild. The Anginoka tortoise, also known as the Plowshare tortoise, is nicknamed the king of land tortoises and is one of the world's top 10 critically endangered species. It is a native species found only in a small area in northwest Madagascar, specifically in the region of Ambanja. These tortoises are under strict protection and can only be found in a small part of Madagascar Island. Like many other rare animal species, the reduction of their habitat is the primary cause for the sharp decline in the Anginoka tortoise population. Additionally, human poaching, predation by feral pigs on hatchlings and eggs, and illegal wildlife trade have further contributed to the decreasing numbers of this species. Currently, there are only around 200 adult Anginoka tortoises remaining in the wild, along with approximately 400 juveniles. Scientists predict that if this species is not protected, it could become extinct within the next 30 years. In Indonesia, there used to be three tiger species, the Bali tiger, the Javan tiger, and the Sumatran tiger. Since the extinction of the Bali tiger and the Javan tiger in the 20th century, the Sumatran tiger, which inhabits the island of Sumatra, has become the only tiger species in Indonesia and the only surviving tiger species that is solely found on an island. It is also the smallest tiger species in the world. However, due to illegal hunting and habitat destruction by humans in recent decades, the Sumatran tiger is now critically endangered. It is estimated that there are only around 400 individuals left in the wild. Even the captive population of Sumatran tigers faces challenges, such as inbreeding depression similar to the South China tiger. The future of the Sumatran tiger depends entirely on whether humans can ensure the preservation of their habitat and effectively combat illegal killing. Conservationists are deeply concerned, as without prompt action to eliminate the threats to the survival of the Sumatran tiger, it is highly likely that they will become extinct in the wild within the next decade. The mountain gorilla is one of the two subspecies of eastern gorilla. They are divided into two populations, one inhabiting four national parks in the Virunga Mountains of Central Africa and the other in the Bwindi Forest of Uganda. While some suggest that they may represent a third subspecies of eastern gorilla, it has not been formally described. Despite their fierce appearance and massive size, mountain gorillas are actually gentle herbivorous animals. 
Due to their large body size, they require a significant amount of food and spend most of their day foraging, with the exception of sleeping. However, the mountain gorilla's habitat has been severely damaged due to deforestation and ongoing conflicts, leading to food shortages. As a result, they are classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Activities, including excessive logging and prolonged warfare, have greatly affected their population. Currently, there are only around 500 mountain gorillas remaining in the wild. Did you know that the wild population of black-footed ferrets numbers only around 700 individuals, making it one of the rarest mammals in the world? It is also the only species of ferret found in North America. The black-footed ferret is native to North America and is a small carnivorous mammal. Adult black-footed ferrets have a slender body, with males measuring 30-45 cm in length, a tail length of 13-15 cm, and weighing 1-1.2 kg. Their fur is typically light yellow in color, with the belly being slightly lighter. The muzzle, face, throat, and most of the forehead are white, while the top of the head, nose, and eye circles are black. The most distinctive feature of the black-footed ferret is its black legs, which create a striking contrast with its body. It really looks like a noodle at first glance. If you see it for the first time, you will surely be charmed by its appearance. The black-footed ferret is a natural predator of the prairie dog and relies heavily on them for food. Prairie dogs make up approximately 90% of their diet. Their survival is closely tied to the presence of prairie dog colonies. In Canada, a black-footed ferret requires a territory of 40-60 hectares with a substantial population of prairie dogs. They consume over 100 prairie dogs in a year. In the last century, many members of the mustelid family, including the black-footed ferret, faced habitat destruction. The species was declared extinct in Canada in 1937 and had no confirmed records in the United States for over a decade starting from 1967. Scientists concluded that the black-footed ferret had become extinct in the 1970s. However, 10 years later, approximately 120 individuals were discovered in Wyoming, USA. Sadly, the following year, an outbreak of disease occurred in the area. To prevent the spread of the disease, biologists even used drones to distribute vaccine baits in their habitat. However, the sudden outbreak of two diseases claimed the lives of most black-footed ferrets, leaving only 18 individuals remaining. Thanks to the efforts of scientists, the wild population of black-footed ferrets slowly recovered to over 1,200 individuals by 2013. In the vast Gobi Desert, at the border of northwestern China and Mongolia, lives a resilient and unique species known as the Bactrian camel. It is a wild animal native to China and possesses extraordinary adaptability. Bactrian camels have keen senses of smell, can endure hunger, thirst, extreme heat, and severe cold. They can even regulate their body temperature to adapt to the changing environment. However, despite their remarkable survival skills developed over 700,000 years of evolution, Bactrian camels face threats such as hunting and habitat destruction. The population of wild Bactrian camels has drastically declined, and now there are only around 700-800 individuals remaining in the wild. This makes them even rarer than giant pandas. Due to their critical status, they have been classified as a first-class protected species by the government. The current status of the world's top 10 endangered animals highlights the inherent harmony between wildlife conservation and human development. By protecting endangered species, humans are essentially safeguarding invaluable and irreplaceable resources. It is crucial that humanity refrains from solely exploiting nature and instead aims for progress that puts an end to such predatory practices. Let us hope that the advancement of civilization will bring an end to these exploitative behaviors. If you enjoyed our video, we welcome you to subscribe and leave us a comment.